This video is brought to you by Squarespace. GameStop. You know it. You love it. Or you hate it. You probably hate it. Most people seem to hate it. We like it. Remember that time we made a video reviewing video game reviews? Yes. I thought it'd be fun to do it again, but while I was pulling reviews, I ended up down a different path, a slightly different path, and I just wondered, what if I took a quick peek at the actual GameStop reviews for our local GameStops? And what I found there was way funnier than anything else that I had found. Kim hasn't seen any of them yet, and I gotta tell you, they're fun. We're gonna take it in turns. I'm gonna read this first one from Mrs. Meza, who said, one star, I don't have money to go there. I don't really see how that's GameStop's fault. Is she trying to say it's expensive? Maybe that's the review. It's too expensive, can't afford it, therefore one star. Kitty says, two stars. Don't believe what Google says. They're only open till nine and ignore the phone. Actually stood outside and called, watch them play hot potato oh, with yeah. the phone. <laughs> I've done that. And then put it down and ignore it. Awesome. Go to a different GameStop or game exchange down the street. Let me be honest, Kitty. They're all gonna do that because we're closed. But still two stars. What made it not one star? She likes something about GameStop. There's something about it. Scott says, two bucks for many copy of Destiny? Copulate off. <laughs> oh, because you can't, you can't write the F word in the yeah. review. It actually took me a little bit. I had to Google the word copulate. <laughs> but I figured that out. But I still don't get two bucks for many copy of Destiny. I can tell you what it means. Okay. Because I've had this guy come in before. Okay. I'm familiar with this man. He brought in a dick load of copies of Destiny oh. and expected to get like retail oh. price for them. I thought he was saying okay. Destiny was only two dollars no. and he was like, that's too cheap or something. It's only worth two dollars. Well, Actually, yeah. it's probably not. It's probably... Sell, it, it sells for five dollars. I don't think they even take it in trade anymore. Oh, all these one star reviews. But do you know a place that always gets five star reviews across the board Squarespace. Squarespace is the easy to use all in one platform to build a beautiful website and run your business or just show off what you're all about. If you had a website again, which you should make one, your little craft craftings and you would probably sell your craftings on the website and it would track how much of the craftings that you've been selling. <laughs> been selling. I have a website and you could make any kind of website you wanted. Think of a website right now. It could literally just be a picture of Simon wearing a top hat and it could be called simoninatophat.com or think of a website. You gotta put me on the spot and make me think of things. It can be put me stuff on the spot things. and make me no! think about stuffandthings.com and it's a picture of Kim going and me going when building my website, I was constantly impressed by how easy it was to add pictures, text, even embed my videos right into the site. I just selected one of the many sleek website templates and went to work making changes. There are endless possibilities. Just head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash beat em ups. Yes. To save 10%, how much? 10%? 10% of your first website or domain. Wow. Living in 2021 and not having a website for your business. Can you imagine it, Kimberly? I can. Oh. oh don't. <laughs> don't. You don't have to anymore. Oh, God. All right. Back on with the video. Clayton says, one star is GameStop. I like that one <laughs> because before I saw that one, there was one that was five stars and it said, it's GameStop. <laughs> From DDoS, poor customer service. I was not welcomed as I walked in. I expected the finest customer service. You went to the wrong place. GameStop games are not even worth it. New game $60, used games 55, and you can't return a new game, so you're better off buying it online. But the main reason why I liked this one was just, I expected the finest, the finest of customer service. Also, new game 60, used games 55. That's literally, the game. that would literally be a brand new release. Yes, like, yeah, brand, they're not yeah. going to sell a brand new release for 20 bucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, but also if you have your pro card, it's like 20 percent. <laughs> I can't shut that part of my Kim brain Kim used off. to work at GameStop, if y'all don't remember that. Yeah, Lazy Boys says one star. You're looking to get scammed. I'd recommend it. I don't like what? What does he think he was scammed on? Probably, Probably 30 trading copies value. of it's, Destiny. It's yeah. all, I've said this so many yeah. times, but GameStop gives amazing creating value. Like, value. Like, I, it, I can't talk, but I'm telling the truth. They give such good credit. They give good trade in value depending on what you bring depending in. Depending on what you bring in. If you're bringing in a crappy sports Wii game, yes, you're going to get 10 cents. If you're bringing in Destiny, yes, you're going to get two bucks. Mario I traded Party. some Mario game in yeah. at some point during a promo and I got $50 for it. Yeah. Ash anyway. says, they wouldn't let my five-year-old sister 
promised to use the bathroom, but they expected me to spend money there. Never again. Ash, they don't have a public bathroom. It's not a restaurant. Most places don't have a public bathroom. Your little five-year-old can go across the street to Starbucks and pee all over that toilet seat. Pee your pants, Ashley. Keith. Five stars. Found a PlayStation hat here. <laughs> but you're not wearing it in the profile picture, no, it's Keith. Not. I love the five star review because he found a PlayStation hat. Fur King. Oh. Two stars. They didn't have Fortnite on CD. I hate to break it to you, Fur King. But nowhere has Fortnite on CD. Unless I mean, you would like to go I on eBay it, and buy it for like For like $200. literally over a hundred bucks at this point. It just keeps going. It's one of my most expensive games. Fortnite. It's from Walter White though. Of course it is. One star. Their new manager, Ryan, is a degenerate roid raged imbecile. Now, I have to point out this GameStop in particular <laughs> Almost every single bad review was about Ryan. Oh. Ryan sucks. Oh dear. But there's someone else that works there. I can't remember his name. They love him. He is either one of two things. A complete jerk, a cringy tool that acts so goofy that it's obviously fake and ingenuine. Ryan sucks. <laughs> or maybe he really is that much of a loser. <laughs> this, this is a review this is of hate, Ryan. This is hate speech. This, this is point. a Ryan roast at this point. <laughs> either way, it's sad. This boy, I should say, raised his voice at me, said my opinion was invalid, and even fat shamed me. <laughs> what a disgrace. Ryan, you can't be doing that, Ryan. I hear many complaints from other customers about him, even from employees. If you see someone who appears to be on steroids so much that his manhood has shrunk down to a Vienna Aww. sausage, then stay away from this rude, pathetic excuse for a human being. Joseph is the best, though. Joseph! Like the Joseph's the guy. The shift yeah. Yeah. the only redeeming factor of this store if mm. joseph is there he'll take very good care of yeah, you yeah joseph is a good he's one he's knowledgeable ryan sucks kind joseph. and is actually interested in what you have to say if you want to have a conversation he always likes to throw in his two cents on things how he's not the manager instead of small d ryan is oh. the <laughs> that was the best one out of all the ryan and joseph like love and hate but my lord, they went in on Ryan. And he probably just didn't give him $20 for those 30 copies of Destiny. It probably, That's yeah. probably what Well, and fat shamed. But, you know. <sighs> S. Kelly says, Ryan was a total jerk. Oh. And that's putting it nicely. Oh, is it? Whenever I go to spend $65 on a game, you would at least expect some common decency. <laughs> Ryan is, like, the worst human being. Ryan, stop acting like GameStop customers peed in your Fruity Pebbles first thing in the morning. Adjust your snarky, condescending attitude, and maybe even just act like you give a damn. Please review audio between 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Saturday, March 24th. Do you actually record audio? Yes. Oh my god. I would pay so much money to hear the audio from March 24th between 11 and 12. Ryan, I don't know what he's doing, but he's messing up that store. John Boy Rock says, the GameStop I went to smelled like pee, but everything else was good. <laughs> that just sounds like a regular GameStop. That's every GameStop. That's, yeah. I mean, it makes me feel like I'm about to buy a game, you know? Yeah, it's like when you go to the movie theaters yeah. and you smell popcorn and you know what it's about to be. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes when I accidentally pee on the toilet seat, I'm like, I should, go, I should go to GameStop. <laughs> I should buy a game. I should buy some Amiibos. I should find a PlayStation hat. Astra with three stars had games, but didn't have a score bunny plush. But then again, it's GameStop, not score bunny stop. So I guess that might be on me. <laughs> Are they five? That's actually my favorite one. I laughed so much when I saw that. The self-awareness that it's yeah. her own wrongdoing, but still just three stars. That's why I feel like it's a five-year-old. It's so good. Anime nerd says one star. I go to this GameStop every two weeks. Always good experiences here. Update. Around October 2019, I walked in on the manager, I guess making out with an employee and hugging, and I immediately left. Worst experience. <laughs> they wrote update. Yeah. So what I love is... Their first post must have been, I go to this GameStop every two weeks. Always good experiences. Yeah. Till today. Hold on a second. I've had one bad experience. Mm. I walked in on the manager, I guess, making out. What's the I guess? If he's wrong, it was a crime. So <laughs> ooh, ooh, maybe ooh, clarify. <laughs> I'm just Jeez. saying. Uh, this one's from Kimberly, actually. Not me. Here at 10 a.m. and the door is locked. Nice. That's it for that one. This Walter says, one star. I was at the AT&T store. <laughs> he was at the wrong place. 
<laughs> but still gave the GameStop a one star. This is from Clarence, so you know it's oh. going to be good. If you say you have a game because the box is out on the showcase, oh, no. please have the game when I bring it up. Christmas time child wanted the game. Christmas time child. No, there's no comma. You got an elf living in your house? <laughs> Initially, I wasn't going to put this one in, but Christmas <laughs> time child is what got me. This is something I had to explain to you once. They the make us put the empty boxes mm -hmm. on the shelf mm -hmm. for advertisement. Mm -hmm. Doesn't necessarily mean they have the game. You right here watching this are probably shopping at GameStop wrong. And I do it every time I go in. I start grabbing things off the shelves. Mm -hmm. There's no point. No. You could just walk up to the counter and be like, hey, can I please get this game, this game, and this game? And you don't have to start getting your grubby mitts all over everything because they put that back on the shelf once you leave. William, one star. Roped me off. Yeah. Now, this yep. could be one of two things. Yeah. <laughs> he went into GameStop and they started putting barriers around him and roped him off. I'm guessing he meant ripped me off. But it's not. There's no, there's one P. I know, P. one P and an O. There's one P. So he definitely got roped off. They definitely roped him off in a, in a little corner of the store and he couldn't leave until they closed that night. Yeah. Memed says, they stole my buddy's Wii and his kids play it. Like, what the heck? Why won't they return it? This is theft. And after we called them, they rickrolled us and called us bad words. I don't think that happened. I don't think it happened I think all. he traded in his Wii and forgot. I think he's on something fun. Jamocha says, three stars, buy shares of GameStop. Oh, the reason why I put that in eh. is because it was three months ago. And if you had actually done it at that point, you probably would have made a lot oh, yeah, of money. Oh yeah, you would have made up. So this Jamocha money. knew what they were on about. And if they did preach what they sow, preach what they do they would be rich right now actually if they if they um didn't hold strong i just found that one interesting sherry with one star i've never been there Tasha says, two stars. People gave us the wrong game we checked out. I feel like that's an easy fix scenario. Yeah, but it is frustrating to get all the way home and realize you have the wrong game. Oh, so you agree with this one? I do, because I've done it before and I felt really bad. Autumn says, there is a certain chick who works in this store who will flirt with your man right in front of you, lol. I was just kind of confused at first, but we've been in there twice and that's just how she is. Oh. She's very overbearing and I think that it's rude to be that pushy. Overall... Good store, nice location. The manager is nice. Ballpark Frank says, <laughs> store had games all over floor and is so small, cannot move around in here. Mm -hmm. Will not go in there again. Take the time to go to others. I just like building word pictures in my mind mm. and then walking in with so many games on the floor he couldn't move around. Was there an earthquake? What happened at that Texas GameStop? This is from Leah. I did not go to GameStop. I went to Sally's on Star. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. What happened? She was on the googly maps, you know, uh -huh. map into it. Mm -hmm. And her little thing popped up said, how did you enjoy GameStop? Because mm -hmm. it was probably next to a Sally's oh. and she got pissed. It was like, no! That is probably what happened. That's really exactly what That's happened. That's funny. Yeah. I went to Sally's. Don't Google. tell people where I went. I did not go to GameStop. What am I, some kind of nerd? Well, that's all the ones I had for our local ones, but I did look at the reviews from your store. Oh, and there dear. was only two bad ones. Oh. And one was about you. Oh. So it's from a guy called Glenn. You remember Glenn? No. This is from a year ago when you still worked there. The sales associate Kimberly automatically signed me up for a membership that I didn't want. No, I didn't. I went, I I went sure into you. the store to explain. I didn't ask for the charge and was told they can't reverse the membership. That literally never happened. This information was never told to me until I looked at my receipt. This was unprofessional and wasn't corrected. First of all, in order to give you a membership, I would have to ask for your information, which you would have to give to me. Mm -hmm. And I would have to ask you if you want a magazine or a digital subscription. So if you've got a subscription, it's because I asked you if you wanted one and you said yes. Mm. So f*** Glenn. <laughs> Ooh, Glenn, Lenny boy. Hey, I hope you had a good time. I, uh, I, I, I had fun. This is fun. This is funny. If you like this kind of video, you have to like it because it's something that we don't really do ever. So you, you got to tell us if you like it and leave a comment and sub and all that. And that's it. I feel like we should leave on like a really funny note. Ah! Is that the note? Yeah. Oh.